and I've said this before, I want to really circle back to this very important fact. This sounds, everything I'm saying sounds complicated, but so is the same idea of taking directions and driving to your place of work or driving home, knowing that certain roads you need to take when there's high traffic. You know that there's certain ways you can go on the way home, you can stop by this one place you want to go and, and get your groceries. There are so many steps involved with driving home. If you ever want to do that, sit down and write them all out and you learn them and you're able to do it. There's things you do every day that takes multiple steps, very complicated things we do as human beings. I want you to know this because this impacts your life. This echoes forward in your life. This is a very important topic we're discussing and 20 years, passing a long time. There's so little out there explaining Estrone. Trying to search for it, very little. It's very difficult to tease out research on Estrone because they don't do a lot of research on women. And then doctors applying this in clinic, you know, a lot of doctors are paid on their throughput. The amount of patients go in and out of that clinic. Then I gotta sit down and dial into this with you. So me sitting in this space with you is making sure I do my best to educate you so that you're empowered as a woman to go to your doctor and seek true health, good health care, true health care. That's why I really want to teach this to you. I'm trying not to make it mystical because it sure as heck isn't. And I'm trying my best to be really clear with it because I, you deserve to know this and understand it. Because I'll have patients come in, they have elevated estrogen, and I'll kind of go through their lifestyle and their diet diary and say they're doing like K-cups, the coffee that they put in the plastic, little things and you put the hot water through it. That plastic is going to leach into your body. And when your body has to process that, the BPAs and phthalates out of your body, it's going to preferentially focus on that and it leaves estrone behind. Estrone is not going to go down. Your estrone stays elevated because your body's more focused on detoxifying those other compounds. Furthermore, those other compounds partially bind to estrogen alpha receptors, which is more proliferative, not very good. So when I see a patient with elevated estrone, I also need to sit down and go over their environmental exposure and their lifestyle, how much plastic that they use, because this is a true factor. This is a true concern.